Guys, in this video, we're gonna do a little bit of work on Andy the Landy. So this defender here is kitted out with quite a few off-road goodies. We've got a winch, 37 inch Maxxis Trepidor tires, rock sliders, heavy duty dry shafts, great big Spectre style wheel arches, and front and rear diff locks. So in the last video, we took a little bit of damage. Oh yeah. Oh, that's in. Yes. Very deep. Oh, oh no! Arch gone. Oh, and well, look. He's bleeding. We've got a leakage coming from the power steering box. Also, we've got some new seats. Because look at these, these are a bit disgusting. So here's one of the arches, because they're made of plastic, look, they break way too easily. So we've got some brand new ones here. These are made out of fiberglass, and they've got a coating of bed liner on there. I'm not really sure if they're going to be any much stronger. In the eBay ad, they said they're flexible, but yeah, I believe it when I see it. So we've got some plasters to stop him from bleeding, some new seats, and a rear seat. Oh, got Ian in the house. Got Claire in the house. What are you doing? Apart. So we got a screwdriver, hugger dugger. <laughs> oh, the seat's jammed up. Bigger hammer. Man, look at these seats. These are gross. Are you being professional? Nope. <laughs> He's already got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it wrong already? Yep. We got one seat done. What's happening, Ian? Things are stuck. Oh. Hmm. The tool I did have don't fit. <laughs> Oh, it's off! It's off! Everyone said that's impossible to get off, but Ian got it off! <laughs> right, so Ian's got it all back on again. So far, it's not leaking. <laughs> Boom! Hopefully, these ones are going to last a bit longer, even though fiberglass, nah. I don't know. And now I'm going to have a go at doing the other seat. If you want to see if it works or not, you're going to have to head over to Claire's channel because he's actually live streaming it. And we're going to put a link to that live stream down below so you can see the replay to that. Got all the seats done now. Check it out. Looks almost like new. And so far, the power steering box isn't leaking. It's perfectly dry. Well done, Ian. So now Andy should be back in action, but we do need to get a snorkel. If we look in here, look, a little bit of mud went in there. Not good, but I don't want to screw it onto the window. So we're going to get a roll cage first. Then we're going to put a snorkel on, screw the snorkel to the roll cage. And also we need a suspension kit. Not really sure what kit yet. Maybe the Equip Extreme kit, maybe? Let me know in the comments. What are you doing? Making a mess. That's sloppy. Transfer case is leaking oil. And we think it might be just leaking out the seal, so we're resealing it. Hopefully it's going to stop leaking. Yeah, dripping on me. <laughs> so Ian's got the plates back on the gearbox, transfer box, and nothing's leaked yet. But someone else looks at it before, and he suspects that there's an input shaft further up where it's leaking from. So hopefully that's not the case, otherwise it's going to need a transfer box full rebuild. And he's still a bit dirty from the last off-road mission. But the chassis on this looks in really good condition. So next, we've got to get the steering wheel off because it's not aligned. And also, we need to get behind these clocks because there's a couple of problems with the wires behind there. Anyway, this steering wheel will not come off. So we've taken the nut off, we've been giving it the wiggling, we've had Ian pulling on it like as hard as he possibly could when I was hitting the middle of a mallet it just will not come off so I've just bought this steering wheel puller here from eBay that he's supposed to screw onto here and it's supposed to get it off hopefully that's going to work if it doesn't then I suppose we can't take it off so center nut off and then in the steering wheel it's got a couple of threads here which these two bolts here should screw into so now all we got to do is tighten up that center nut and hopefully it's going to come off oh yes it's coming off Yes! <laughs> Guys, we're off! We're off! So it's a few months later, the seats are still looking good. The steering wheel's on straight. It was a, The speedo wasn't working. We got that fixed. Underneath, still a little bit of leakage going on. It's a lot better than what it was, but I think it's going to need a new transfer case. Hello, Pogo. What's happening, Weasel? 